Galatians chapter 1 and verse number 1. If you have it, say amen. amen. I'm going to ask you again to stand with us as we read the word of the Lord. I often say, you know, sometimes we ask you to help us read. And we'll be standing longer than you, so we ask you to help us with these verses. Down through verse 11. If you have it again, say amen. amen. All right, let's read it together. Paul, an apostle, not of men, neither by man, but by Jesus Christ and God the Father who raised him from the dead. Verse 2. And all the brethren which are with me unto the churches of Galatia. Grace be to you and peace, God the Father, and from our Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from this present evil world according to the will of God and our Father. Read, to whom be glory forever and ever, amen. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. Though we are an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. Verse 9. And we said before, so say I again. If any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be a curse. Verse 10. Or God, or do I speak to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant. Verse 11. But I certify you, brethren, Read verse 16. And to reveal his son in me. Immediately I conferred not with flesh and blood. Romans chapter 1. And verse number 1 through verse number 4. Romans 1 verses 1 through 4. If you have it again, say amen. Let's read it together. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of God, which he had promised afore by his prophets in the Holy Scriptures, concerning his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David according to the and declared to be the Son of God with power, according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead. God, we ask you to grant your glory to prevail again on tonight. Every corner, every space, every heart, every mind, charge the atmosphere with your glory that we might receive a word from on high. We're gonna give you praise for it, for we ask it in Jesus' name, and everybody set together, amen. God bless you as you're seated tonight, amen. We just thank the Lord tonight for his great word and the word of God. Praise the Lord, we have a place where we can hide, amen. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way, but by taking heed thereunto according to the word of God. We thank God for the passages that we have read in your hearing tonight. The Apostle Paul speaking to us and allowing us to understand that the gospel that had been given to him was not a gospel that he got from men or through uh, the flesh. Praise the Lord. And it was a gospel that was given unto him by God through the Lord Jesus Christ. He said in verse 15 that it pleased God to separate him from his mother's womb 
and called me by his grace to reveal his son in me that I might preach him among the heathen. And he said, immediately I conferred not with flesh and blood. I want to use for a thought today, when God's son is revealed in you, he will be declared by you with power. When God's son is revealed in you, he must be, he will be, he has to be, you can't help it to be, <laughs> declared by you with power. Paul declared that the son of God was revealed not just to him, Praise the Lord, but in him. In the 16th chapter of the book of St. John, we see a revelation of Jesus Christ to Peter. The Bible says when Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples saying, whom do men say that I, the son of man, am? They came back with the question, some say thou art Elias. Jeremiah, John the Baptist, or one of the prophets. But then Jesus said, whom say ye that I am? Peter said, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus said there that flesh and blood have not revealed this to you, but my father which is in heaven. And thou shalt be called Peter upon this rock. Praise the Lord, I'm going to build my church and he said, the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So the, the son of God was revealed to Peter. But Paul made it a little bit different when he said he was not only revealed to me, but he was revealed in me. And I, 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 you often hear me say, and I was listening to Bishop Stearns at the dinner table last night and all he don't know every time he's talking he's teaching and dropping nuggets and oh he can't he can't help it he it's a bible class <laughs> praise the lord and he was saying that your text praise the lord is not subject to the scripture the scripture has to give substance to the text we can't make our text praise the lord suit the scripture and just make it preach like we wanted to preach the scripture carries the weight. And so we want to make sure we got our stuff right tonight. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I'm convinced tonight, amen, that we are on point when we say, amen, God's son, amen, can be revealed in us. Praise the Lord. And when that is the case, then he will be declared by us amen with power now when i say that you know that i have a a habit of telling the people to say you know power praise the lord amen and sometimes people wonder you know why we do that praise the lord but it's not saying it amen in a powerful way but it's a matter of understanding that jesus is the actual source of power so when we say that, we're not just saying it to just, you know, try to get folks stirred up. It's with an understanding. See, the Bible says wisdom is the principal thing. And in all of thy getting, get an understanding. And tonight we understand that Jesus is the source of power. So when we say power, we're not just saying it just to get you to say that. We understand that what we're saying, amen, is the result of a person. Praise the Lord. And that person is the Lord Jesus Christ. And so when he is revealed in us, praise the Lord, then he will be declared by us, amen, with power. Praise the Lord. And uh, we understand that not only is he the power of God, 
Amen. But he is also the wisdom of God. When he is revealed in you, that means that we have been given the knowledge of who he is. Praise the Lord. When he is revealed in us, praise the Lord, that means he is realized. You know he's down in there. Praise the Lord. You know he's walking in you and talking in you. We used to sing a song back home, walk around, walk around. Praise the Lord. Walk around in me. Praise the Lord. I want Jesus. Praise the Lord to walk around. Amen. In me. Praise the Lord. When he is realized in us, then we understand, uh, amen, that the substance of who he is, praise the Lord, is revealed on the inside. Praise the Lord. When Jesus is on the inside, praise the Lord, you can't speak of him, amen, in a mealy mouth fashion. Praise the Lord. Just the fact that he's on the inside, praise the Lord, demands that you declare him in a certain way. Praise the Lord. And so this is the thing that concerns me today. Praise the Lord. We can't talk about Jesus. Praise the Lord and talk about weakness at the same time. Praise the Lord. He is the conduit of power. Praise the Lord. You can't handle him and stay weak. Praise the Lord. It's something about his composition. It's something about, amen, what's in him. Praise the Lord. And that's why I want to stay connected to him. Praise the Lord who is the true vine. Praise the Lord. And so I don't only just want to know about him and praise the Lord and amen, have him revealed to me. Amen. And have a knowledge of him. But I want him to be revealed or manifest. Praise the Lord. Realized inside of my spirit. Now, Praise the Lord. I want the spirit of Christ, praise the Lord, to reside inside of my spirit. Somebody said, well, you got the Holy Ghost, didn't you? I do have it. Uh, but I want the spirit of Christ, uh, amen, to reside on the inside. Uh, praise the Lord. His, his manner, his content, uh, his strength, his power, uh, amen, his fortitude. Uh, praise the Lord. When it's revealed in you, uh, amen it'll be declared by you in power uh, praise the lord the bible said concerning the israelites uh, that he made known to israel his acts uh, amen but he made known to moses his ways uh, praise the lord that's a little bit better uh, amen than just knowing his actions uh, when you know his ways that's a closer walk uh, Praise the Lord. And I don't only want to know things about Jesus. Ah, praise the Lord. But I want him down on the inside. Ah, praise the Lord. I want the reality. Ah, amen. Of God's son. Ah, amen. Down in my soul. Ah, you see, therefore, you can't even help yourself. Ah, praise the Lord. Because he's on the inside. Ah, it will not be possible. Ah, to have the influence of his person, uh, amen, on the inside, uh, amen, without heralding it on the outside. Uh, praise the Lord, I tell you the truth, I'm so glad, uh, amen, that there's power in Jesus. Uh, praise the Lord, and if he can get on the inside, uh, praise the Lord, we talked about his mind the other night, uh, Praise the Lord if we can get his manner, his substance. Uh, praise the Lord on the inside. Uh, even though you might be declining. Uh, praise the Lord even though you in the physical, uh, in the natural might be declining. Uh, praise the Lord. The power of God's son. Uh, amen. Will stand up on the inside. Uh, no wonder Paul said. Uh, praise the Lord of our earthly house. Uh, Amen. Of this tabernacle. Huh? Amen. Be dissolved. Huh? He said we have another building. Huh? Not made with hands eternal in the heaven. Huh? Praise the Lord is something about it. Huh? He said and though our outward man. Huh? 
praise the Lord, is perishing. Uh, praise the Lord, certainly I'm, I'm not as fast uh, as I used to be. Uh, at 64 years old, uh, my steps, I don't run as fast uh, as I used to run. Uh, praise the Lord, I can't do what I used to do. Uh, it's letting me know the outward man. Uh, praise the Lord, is perishing. Uh, but it's something about a walk with God uh, through the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, and though the outward man perish, uh, it's something about the power uh, of God's son on the inside. Uh, the inward man, uh, I said the inward man uh, is made new. Uh, praise the Lord every day. Uh, there's power uh, in the son of God. Uh, we don't just say it uh, as a cliche. Uh, we understand uh, that in him uh, is the power of God. Uh, amen. No wonder Paul said uh, that he was not ashamed uh, of the gospel of Christ. Uh, he knew it was the power of God uh, uh, under salvation. Uh, if we can get Christ, uh, amen, in our heart and our mind, uh, it will serve as the power source uh, to do the will of God. Uh, I want him to be revealed uh, uh, on the inside. Uh, Amen. Walk around in me. Huh? Praise the Lord until I understand. Huh? Amen. That all things are possible huh? through us who believe. Huh? Praise the Lord so it won't be possible tonight. Huh? Praise the Lord to have Jesus. Huh? Amen. On the inside. Huh? And not have. Huh? Praise the Lord the same fortitude. Huh? Praise the Lord our mouth. Huh? So to speak becomes his mouth. Huh? Praise the Lord, his fortitude huh? becomes our fortitude. Huh? Praise the Lord, his relentlessness huh? becomes ours. Huh? So I'm so glad tonight huh? that we can put him on. Huh? Amen. We can take him on. Huh? That's why it's so important huh? for us to preach Christ. Huh? Amen. And him crucified. Huh? Paul said it this way. Huh? He said, I'm determined Determined uh, to know nothing among you, uh, save Jesus Christ uh, and Him crucified. Uh, tell the people, uh, Amen, that life is in the Son. Uh, tell the people uh, that the power of God uh, is in His Son. Uh, tell the folk uh, if they're going to overcome the world, uh, you got to believe on Him. Uh, is the Scripture that said uh, there's power uh, in? Jesus Christ. Uh, there's power uh, in his name. Uh, who is he uh, that overcometh the world? Uh, the lust of the eye. Uh, the lust of the flesh. Uh, the pride of life. Uh, but he that believeth uh, that Jesus is uh, the son of God. Uh, there's power uh, to bring down every wall. Uh, there's power uh, to overcome every force. Uh, there's power uh, to defeat the enemy. Give God glory if you know it. Hey. Hallelujah. Ha. Praise the Lord. Ha. He's declared to be ha, the son of God, not with weakness, ha, not with lethargy. Ha, hallelujah. Ha, but he's declared to be the son of God ha, with power. Ha, what force is it ha, that can stand up ha, to that that's in God's son? Ha, there's no power. Ha, there's no force ha, that can stand up ha, against him. Ha, no wonder it's said ha, that when he rose, Huh? from the grave huh? he rose huh? with all power huh? uh, in his head huh? power huh? over darkness huh? power huh? over the enemy huh? power huh? over your flesh huh? power huh? over your mind huh? power huh? over everything give God glory if you know it hallelujah huh? You can't talk about Jesus. Ha. Praise the Lord with a million mind. Ha. Praise the Lord. It concerned me today. Ha. 
praise the Lord, we've got national microphones. Ha, amen. But we reduce Jesus ha, to something that is less. Ha, amen. That can take care of our problem. Ha, when God gave us Jesus, ha, he gave us the complete solution ha, a, to every problem ha, that we may encounter. Ha, I don't care what it is. Ha, he is the head. Ha, I said he's the head. Ha, he's the head ha, of all principality ha, and power. Ha, praise the Lord. Every demon ha, gotta be subject to him. Ha, amen. Your own flesh ha, gotta come under him. Ha, give God glory in the church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ha, praise the Lord. Ha, amen. Ha, he's got to be declared. Ha, amen. With power. Ha, praise the Lord. He is able. Ha, Praise the Lord to do ha, whatever we need done. Ha, we just got to believe on him. Ha, we've got to see him ha, by faith ha, and believe on him. Ha, as the scripture have said, ha, then out of your belly, ha, I said out of the innermost, ha, a part of your being, ha, rivers ha, of living water, ha, rivers ha, to wash away doubt, ha, rivers ha, to wash away way fear. There's power in the name of Jesus. Power to overcome the world. Power to overcome your flesh. Give God glory here tonight. He's declared to be. He's held it to be the son of God with power. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Don't use his name. Praise the Lord in a millet mouth fashion. Ha. Praise the Lord, he's got everything ha, uh, that we need. Ha. No wonder the song declared, ha, all that I need. Ha. Praise the Lord, it's in Jesus. Ha. Amen, he satisfies. Ha. Praise the Lord, when I got saved ha, in 1972, ha, I've already examined, ha, amen, the Muslim faith. Ha, already examined, ha. praise the Lord, Second Baptist. Ha. I ain't talking about churches. I already examined I, some of the religious systems. I, but when somebody told me I, about a little tiny church I, down at 540 West 4th Street I, where they preaching Christ I, and him crucified, I, went down there and heard I, the gospel of Jesus Christ. I, hallelujah! I, prick my heart. I, caused me to go down I, in the name of Jesus. I, repent of my sin, ha, gave me the Holy Ghost, ha, gave me power ha, to live right, ha, power ha, to walk right, ha, power ha, to talk right. Give God glory in this church. Hallelujah. Went to a meeting one night and my heart just wasn't right. Ha, praise the Lord, but something. Ha, got a hold of me I praise the Lord and ever since I, that wonderful day I, my soul I, has been satisfied I, satisfied with Jesus I, satisfied with Jesus I, said he be my comforter I, said he be my guide I, I've been baptized I, in Jesus name I, tearing around the altar till the Holy Ghost came and ever since I said ever since that wonderful day my soul my soul my soul has been satisfied I'm satisfied that he's a healer I'm satisfied that he supplies peace I'm satisfied that he's our joy Hey man, when he is revealed in you, he's got to be declared by you with power. He can't be in you and you saying weak stuff at the same time. Somebody say amen. amen. And it's not that you learn how to holler loud. It's not about how loud you holler. It's a matter of he's abiding on the inside. He'll cause you. He'll cause you to stand up and walk with him. You got to walk with him if he's on the inside. Christ in you. 
I said, Christ in you is the hope of glory. Well, ain't nobody live perfect. Can't nobody live free from sin. You don't have him. You don't have him. You being negative, I'm telling the truth. When he came, he came to abolish that sin. Somebody say amen. Can't nobody do it, you know. We're just human beings. If he get in you, I said if he get in you, he'll give you the power to deal with it. Every sin can be dealt with. Hallelujah. Because he's declared to be. I don't even argue with folk about Jesus. I don't argue about him. I just declare him. You do what you want to do with him. I'm going to just declare him. Hallelujah. You argue. I'm going to tell you what he can do. He's declared to be the son of God with what? Oh, we can do better than that. He's declared to be the son of God with what? Power. Power in his name. Feel like you can't make it. He'll stand up. I said he'll stand up. Oh, yes, he will. He'll stand up on the inside. He'll stand up on your behalf. But make sure that he's in you. Christ in you. Not around you. Thank God for notebook. I keep notes. Hallelujah. But I don't just want him in a notebook. Somebody say amen. I got... <laughs> I thank God for that beautiful case they gave me at the church here. Already done put my iPad in it. Somebody said, I already done synced it up with the keyboard. Hallelujah. But that's not the only way we're, place where I want to know him. I want to know him and the power, power of his resurrection. I got to know him and the fellowship of his suffering. I gotta know him tonight. How can we fail when we got the power source on the inside? Look what God did with the S-U-N. He told the sun, burn until I tell you to quit. Stay in that place, don't move. I gave you a command, do what I told you to do. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. And the sun been burning ever since. And now he did the same thing with the S-O-N. Go down and redeem my people. Hallelujah. And he said, praise the Lord. Lo, it is written of me in the volume of the book to do thy will, O oh God. Praise the Lord times and no doubt Jesus didn't want to do it. Praise the Lord, but he had to go because of you and I. Amen. Give God praise if you love him. He's declared to be. I said he's declared to be the son of God with power. I got in the church, old flesh cutting up. Say amen. Oh, Adam cutting up. Wanting to pull me back in the world. Maybe that's just my flesh. Hallelujah. Thinking about some of the old things. Hallelujah. But thank God for the power. Thank God for the power that's in the Son of God. And I was able to come boldly now unto the throne of grace that I might obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of my need. I had to get Adam to the place where he obeyed the will of God. Say amen. amen. There's enough power in God's son. We don't have to coexist with the, with the enemy and the Lord. We don't have to share compartment. Hallelujah. He's Lord. I said he's Lord. He's the ruler, he's the boss to the glory of God the Father. 
When he is revealed in you, when he's realized, when you know for yourself, it's Jesus in here. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's Jesus in me. When you understand that and you know it, not just uh, psychologically, but when you know it in your spirit, it's in your soul. You can't even help yourself. He'll cause you to walk upright. When he's revealed in you, he'll be declared by you with power. Praise the Lord. When he went to the grave of Lazarus, amen, he went with power. Hallelujah. Why are you all crying here? Praise the Lord. We know we'll see our brother, amen, in the resurrection in the last day. But he said, I am. Somebody say, amen. I am not only that that can get you up, but after I get you up, then I can give you life. You know what? I don't never, and I'm not trying to brag, but I don't never intend to be so I have to feel like I got to go back and, and throw in the towel. Not as long as I can hold on to him. That's, that's where my power is. It's not a figment of our imagination. Jesus is real. I said he's real. Jesus is real to me. Oh, yes. He gives me the victory. So many people, they doubt him. But I, I can't live without him. That is why I love him so. I said I love him so because Jesus is real to me. I said, Lord, how am I gonna get past the loss of our son? He died in my arms and my son-in-law did it. Somebody say amen. amen. And it's at that point a shout won't work. You need some real power. You need power from on high because now your mind gotta stay right. Somebody say amen. amen. Now your affection got to stay right. You can't fall out with God now. And I'm glad I had somebody that helped me in that crisis. Somebody say amen. I found out that he's a very present help in the time of my need. He's able to help you in your time of need. I said, Lord, how am I going to get through this? Praise the Lord. It's not something that passes over. That kind of loss is permanent. Say amen. amen. And you got to deal with it every day. And then your, 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 your heart got to be right every day after that. But I found out there's power in Jesus. And he can supply grace to you. He can supply strength to you. He can help you to go forward. We buried my son on that Saturday. Sunday, I went to the grave site before I went to Sunday school and stood at my son's grave. Praise the Lord. Looking down on a freshly opened ground where my son lay, knowing that I got to go to church now and teach and preach. On top of that, somebody say amen. amen. But I'm so glad to know that what Jesus has in him is enough to supply our every need. His grace, his grace is sufficient. He can help you through any trial. And then you have to praise the Lord, keep your heart clean about not wanting revenge. Say amen. amen. I hope he, I hope he rot in the jail. No, no. Lord, save him in there if you can. Give him a mind to be saved. If you can reach him. God bless you tonight. I'm telling you. Give God praise. Christ is revealed in you. Christ is revealed in you will be declared by you with power. We can't have a national platform and tell people that Jesus is not able.
to bring them all the way. Somebody say amen. We can't have a national mic. And then with the same mic say, well, you know, we're limited in what the Lord can do in our lives because of our human condition. We've cheated somebody. Somebody say amen. We've shortchanged them. Because when he's revealed in you, you'll say he can do exceeding abundantly above all that we could ask or think according to the what? Y'all ain't gonna do right. He can do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the Ah, that's better. <laughs> this is not something we have to sink in. This is not something we have to fall in. This is something that we don't have to give up in. And it's not a psych. It's not hype. Hallelujah. There's a whole lot of psych and hype. Look at your neighbor run, turn around three times. Step on the newspaper. Come. Loose hair. Loose hair. You better have Christ in you after you turn around. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Power is in the Lamb of God. He can do it in us, but we got to see him and we got to believe on him. Develop a relationship with him. Walk with him through the good time and the bad time. Somebody say amen. You're going to be, you're going to be ostracized if you stay close with him. Close folk going to talk about you if you really walk with him. He did it back, they did it back then, they'll do it now. But you got to be willing to say, I'll suffer with you. I'm willing to suffer with you. Because I know if I suffer with you, I'm going to reign. I'm going to reign. And I'm not just talking about in the sweet by and by. I can reign now. Now I can reign. I'm so glad I got this. I don't know what to do. Failing in Erie for 21 years. Hey Amen. The enemy had me where he wanted me, fooled around and let me gain a knowledge of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. And then he allowed me to get a hold to him. Oh boy. Then he allowed me to learn of him. Oh boy. And allowed me to get, amen, him on the inside. Paul said, I won't rest to the Galatians until Christ be formed in you. Somebody say amen. amen. In your fingertips, in your eyelids, in your hair, in the, in the hollow of your hair. I ain't got that much left, but when I... <laughs> but wherever I got, get in there, Lord. Get in me, Lord. So I can walk right. So I can talk right. So I can live right. You can't talk about Jesus and weakness at the same time. Yeah, Jesus is good, but you know, we're limited, you know. God is good, praise God. No, you, ain't, you don't have him right. I say you don't have him right. When you have them right, you'll say like Paul said, I can do what? We like quoting that kind of stuff. <laughs> we love that. I can do all that. As soon as a big test come, we lay it out. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't want to just quote it. I want it to be real on the inside. Come on, say come on. He's real on the inside. 
I don't know what's going to come, but I know he's able to keep me from falling. I'm normally a quiet, shy guy, but that Holy Ghost, say amen, that Holy Ghost changes your personality for a minute. I'd just soon be sitting out there somewhere. But that Holy Ghost, that Christ, it causes you to transform. Say amen. You see, remember them toys we used to have, Transformer? <laughs> when the enemy come in like a flood, we transform. Well, come on. <laughs> bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. See, you want to know him, people, in a very real way. He's the most important individual that you can know in this life. Is Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. And when you know him intimately, amen, he allows us to be intimate with him. When we do it that way, I'm telling you, your life will never be the same. You won't have to put on. It'll be genuine. When Christ is revealed in you, when he's made known, when it's understood that he's in there, he'll be declared by you with power. And what that means is you'll represent him as the source of power. He'll be declared by you with power. Don't mean you saying it loud. You'll just represent him as the source of power. Don't say I'm preaching Jesus and then I'm preaching weakness at the same time. Hallelujah, he can't do it. Not if he's really in there. He won't let you do it. God bless you tonight. God bless you tonight. I, I'm so happy to be in, in this life. I don't know what to do. And I'm glad that he not only revealed him to me, but he allowed him to be revealed in me. Paul said he separated me. Amen. From my mother's womb to work with this gospel to the heathen. Regardless of how bad they are, God put a gospel in him. Amen. That would deal with Amen, with the spirit of that age. We got homosexuality on the rampage, lesbianism, wickedness on every side. And the spirit of that stuff is in the land. Somebody say amen. It's out here. And we playing around with cliches. The spirit is in the land. And, 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 and if we're not insulated and isolated, praise the Lord, and empowered and covered, you're going to find yourself thinking kind of strange. Somebody say amen. Well, where did that come from? Amen. But I'm so glad that if we stay with him, stay close to the Lord. Amen. Walk with him in the beauty of holiness. Amen. Suffer with him. Give your life up for him. We ought to live for him that died for us. We ought to do that. Amen. Do you agree with that? In the name. Give the Lord praise one more time tonight. Jesus is revealed in you. He'll be declared by you. Amen. With God bless you in Jesus.